Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I'm here to review Brawl and Cellbach 99. And this is a very small film that I've heard some great buzz about. It has like a 90-something on Rotten Tomatoes. And boy, is this a fantastic B-movie. And I really, really enjoyed this film a lot. I wound up renting this for 99 cents on Amazon Prime. So yeah, you can get this for less than a dollar right now. Go rent it, because it was really cool. I warn you, this movie is ridiculously violent. Ridiculously violent. So if you can't handle that, don't watch this movie. This is from the same writer and director of Bone Tomahawk, which was also ridiculously violent and unnerving, but I thought it was so cool, this idea of this horror western with cannibals and Kurt Russell. And this film is has Vince Vaughn in it. And he was amazing. The S. Craig Zeller wrote and directed this film and also helped compose this film, interesting enough. I think we have a new John Carpenter, because that's exactly what this feels like. I, it feels like we have a new John Carpenter on our hands, which I'm excited about, because we could always use a John Carpenter to bring some great B-movie, um, like, glorious B-movies to the screen. And this film is about Vince Vaughn, is down on his luck, gets back involved in drug dealing, and goes into prison, and they kidnap his pregnant wife, and threaten her, and it's like, you have to go kill this guy in maximum security prison, in this, like, super isolated cell block in this prison, so he needs to go through a lot of crap to get himself there first, and this is, it's basically a descent into hell, this is like Dante's Inferno, in a B-movie was Vince Vaughn in it, and him spiraling down into hell, and boy was this a crazy ride to join. S. Craig Zaylor does a really good job of directing this film, and no doubt about this, this is a B-movie. And <laughs> the practical effects in this can look so obnoxious of like body parts exploding and all kinds of stuff like that, but he takes this story, knows where he wants to go with it, and this movie does not stop to breathe. Which is interesting because this is over two hours. It's two hours and 15 minutes. And it just keeps going with this unstoppable energy and force moving forward. But the thing is, it's taking its time. It's like death coming for you. You can run, but death will catch up to you. And that's basically what's going on in this film because the pacing is not really fast. This can be very methodical and slow at moments. But the thing is, the film is like, it's very methodical. It's not like, why is this scene happening? No, it just takes its time. And you know that there's no filler scenes in this film either. Everything has its purpose and is really building up to where this is supposed to be going and to its climax. And this film is darkly funny, but this film is brutal. This is a brutal film, and this film pulls no punches, and there's pl plenty of punches to be thrown in this film. And if you can't handle something really dark and brutal, don't watch this movie. This isn't a film for everybody, but like I really appreciated this. The cinematographer was Benji Bakshi, and everything is so well shot and well staged. You saw all the action. There's plenty of action in this film. And it's, the action is shot in a way where it's, everything plays out in front of you. There's no obnoxious editing, there's no shaky cam, everything is steady cam, and you're moving a lot, it makes you feel like you're in this world with Vince Vaughn, going on this dissentive journey with him into hell, and I think that was, that's the biggest praise I can give about the cinematography, is like, you're in this, you're in this with him. And it's scary that you're in this with him, because this is a crazy journey to be on. And then we have, the this was written by S. Craig Saylor, and this is an interesting, dark and crazy story. And it goes to extremes, and it goes to crazy places, and sometimes it's really unbelievable. But, like, the characters in this, you really get a sense of him, you get a decent sense of his wife... And there's some other interesting supporting characters, like Don Johnson's in this, as like this slick, cool warden, 
of this maximum security prison and it's very odd and very interesting how this film plays out and the dialogue the dialogue is the most important part of this film it's definitely the action and the physical acting of everybody but you have its moments and there's some sharp dialogue in here as well this really isn't a deep film that's the thing it's a B movie first and foremost and it doesn't and it I guess it depends on how deep you want to dig into it that if it has social commentary or not but I think that this film is really on the surface revent like driven B movie and that's what it is and I'm not going to be giving this film like an A plus or anything like that because I can't but it really does hit what it's supposed to be doing and the score done by S. Craig Zaylor and Jeff Harriet I think it really works in this film it gives like a sense of dread as you're going through this film and the acting Vince Vaughn was great in this he really sold all the physical moments and he really sold I'm a he's a force of nature in this film which is kind of crazy because the thing is Vince Vaughn's a really big dude he could be really physically intimidating if he wants to be and he was in this film and then Jennifer Carpenter who plays his wife thought did a nice job and Don Johnson was fun to see in this film the it factor of this, this is an ultra violent B movie anchored by a really game Vince Vaughn in this film and honestly I'm going to give Ball in Cell Block 99 a B plus